All right. Tonight, I am painting on a black canvas. And what I've done is I have already covered the canvas with a coat of black gesso and allowed that to dry. And, uh, hey, man. And it's good and dry, so now I'm going to take liquid clear for everybody that's uh, been wanting to see how you apply liquid clear. I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick. I dip my brush down into the liquid clear. Come back to the canvas. Touch me on a few little spots. Because it does not take much liquid clear at all to cover a canvas. Okay. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do you can do circle strokes if you want. Or you can do the egg strokes if you want. I prefer the eggs. To me it just seems like it's easier. And a whole lot less work on your hand. And turning all them little circles. Now you want to stretch this out. You don't want to. You don't want to put too much in one spot. Because if you put too much liquid clear up here, the canvas will drip off. Of your paint will drip off the canvas. I promise you, saying it done. <laughs> Now you have to you have to get in here and really rub to to get it to cover a thin coat. I mean you have to there's some uh there's some elbow grease goes into it. Once you get the whole canvas coated, what I always do just to make sure is I fold me up a paper towel, then I go back up here and I gently go back across the entire canvas and just wipe off and you can see how much you pick up. Just pick that up. Take that little bit off, and what you left with should be enough up there to paint. Hey, Laura. Hey, Amy. Hey, Adam. John. Cowboy. Oh, Locksmith. My buddy Locksmith's down in New Smyrna Beach, Florida this week at the Bob Ross School. Hey, Tracy. He is uh, taking lessons on becoming a Bob Ross instructor himself. This is his first week, and he did his first painting today. He sent me a picture of it. It turned out great. I mean, it was beautiful. So he's down there having the time of his life. Well, we're all stuck up here in the cold weather. He's down in Florida, rubbing elbows with the big guys. All right, now, the reason I went ahead and uh, did things the way I'm doing tonight is I want to show people how to prep a black canvas because it's... Most of the time when you turn the video on and we got a black canvas up here, we're telling you what we've already done and we're never showing it. So tonight I want to uh, I want to kind of show you how to do it. That's why I put the liquid clear on tonight on camera. And uh, 
That way you can you kind of get a feel for how things are going. And all I'm doing right now is put my colors out and just put out some phthalo blue. And next I'm gonna put out some uh, some black. They don't take much of each color, just just enough. I know we're supposed to be in for some cold weather in the morning. Ourselves, it's supposed to get down in the teens. They talk. To. No, I think we're supposed to have single digit in the morning, like six. I think they said. All right, so I got out titanium white, a little blue, and I put out some black, and now I'm gonna put out some uh, Van Dyke brown. And I'm gonna put some uh, I'm going to put some uh, dark sienna out. I've got, uh, I've got some cad yellow out. I may use it. I may not. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so that should, that should get us through on colors. If I see where we need a little more of something, I will uh, I'll add it. But for now, I think that's enough to get us going. And the first thing we'll do is we got to cover the canvas. So I'm going to come right up here. And I'm going to get me a little of the thalo blue and bring out. And I'm going to bring me some of the black out. Just kind of mix them together. Just black and blue, or blue and black, however you want to see it. Just mix them together right here on the brush. Or on the paddle. Just blue and black, that's all it is. All right. Now, I'm going to take my two inch brush, tap right into my color. So, let me fix this. I got a leg that's, well, it ain't the canvas, it's the table. But, I got the blue and the black on my brush. Moving to Mississippi. Why y'all gonna do that? It's gonna be six here. All right. So I'm gonna come right up here with the blue and the black. And they're transparent colors. So you won't see them on the canvas. But you can see them being applied. I mean, all you gotta do is if you got a light, you can see the you can see the canvas getting duller. Because with just a liquid clear up there, it's got a real bright sheen to it. Then when you hit it with this blue and black, it kind of gets dull looking. So you know your color's going on. And I'll show you another way to test it to make sure you get enough color. You don't want to glob paint up here. You don't want to put too much. You want enough that you can tell you got paint up here. But you don't want too much. And I'll, like I said, I'll show you another way to test it. Right here, just a second. Smooth it all out. Take your finger and come up here and just touch it random in a couple spots. And you should pick up the color on your finger. If you're picking that color up on your finger, good to go. 
That's all you need. Oh yeah, it's it's a lot cheaper to buy houses here, but you have to contend with the uh, with everything else that goes along with it. Quick. Now, one thing to remember: anytime you're doing a black canvas painting, and you got liquid clear up there, you got to be very, very, very careful not to go back up there with thinner and the brush, because if you do, the thinner and the liquid clear will have a violent reaction. And it'll cause your paint to do all kinds of crazy things. <clears throat> all right. So now I'm going to grab another two inch brush, clean and dry. Come right over here into my white. And just tap a little color on the brush. Don't need much. Just, just a little paint on both sides. And we got to decide where we want to put our light spot. This is going to be a night scene, so we want to once well, the light spot up here, so I'll start probably about right here. And we're just gonna just start working out. Because the further we can get away from that light source, the darker we want our colors. Just don't carry a nasty brush back into your light spot. Because if you do. Gonna kill that light spot. But you can see the white paint's picking up the uh, the blue and the black, mixing with it, giving you that that kind of look of a nighttime sky. And you can go and look at your brush now, and you can see how much blue you picked up. It's a pretty good bit of blue on that brush. Let me see if I can get this to focus any better. Right there. There we go. Whoops. Well, that didn't do much good, did it? Snatched you all the way around to where you... I'm going to see everything in the room. Oh, I'm talking about I have messed up everything. The shot, the camera, the angle. <laughs> uh, oh, Lord. I'm going to tell you something. I am really considering hiring me a uh, cameraman to come by the house for these YouTube nights and just film or record the YouTube videos. Yes, yeah, so they look blue and black, Laura. Adam, that car horn, when I closed out that live, that was it for the car horn. 
I carried my uh, I carried my rifle out there and I shot that Cadillac. <laughs> Not disconnected the battery. It's like a, uh, oh God, I don't even remember what year it is. 60s, 60 something model. It's a, uh, I don't know what was causing it to do that. But I didn't know he had already undone the uh, alarm system on it. So, Apparently that was not the problem. Did you do black just so uh, liquid clear? Uh, yeah, I did, Rich. Black just so liquid clear, blue and black, and I just went over it with white. That's all I've done. Well, uh, I hadn't really talked to him. He just got in a little earlier. He's a truck driver. My stepson. And uh, it's his car. And he said they disconnected everything. I don't know if they got everything that they were supposed to get off of it or not. Uh, they may have left something else hooked up. Like, you know, some of them car alarms have low battery voltage sensors, glass sensors, all kinds of sensors. So I'm not sure they've got every sensor unhooked. I don't know. But I do know that... Uh, it won't be going off tonight. I bet you that. If it goes off tonight, y'all get on the phone and call 911. Because there's something bad going on here. I can promise you. All right. I'm going to come right back up here now. Put my brush loaded up again. And I want to do the same thing again. Start in the light spot. And just start working my way out. And I just start picking up the dark color. And I'm just doing this with the little egg strokes. Remember, you got liquid clear up there. All right, now we're going to use that brush that your mama gave you. Your finger. Come right over here. Pick you up a little bit of white on your finger. Come right up here. In your bright spot, make your little circle. You set the indication of a moon up there. Like it's just sitting up there, shining, doing moon things. Oh God, David. Hmm. Yeah, if I do that though, it's gonna it's going to throw everything out of whack. You're going to be looking at the computer screen. And... I ain't going no further than that. If I do, you'll be seeing me. And we ain't looking at me. Not tonight. Let's see, I'm right here now. Right here, that's my hand. <laughs> Oh, every time I go to the center bucket now, my big old head's going to be annoyed. Uh, 
are you putting in a moon? Uh, yeah. <laughs> she went and changed her name to Rocky. There you go, Stiff. Now with the clean dry brush, I'm going to come up here and just start real lightly blending out the sky. Just real lightly. Let's take a little bit more white and come back up and make our moon a little bit brighter. There it is. Now she's shining. Blue moon. Ain't nobody else on right now, Amy Kate. She got to go to that TikTok. She's hooked. Hook, lined, and sinkered. All right. I'm moaning, people. Oh, yeah. Sure it is. <laughs> Right about that. All right. Well, one of the things I hate about a black canvas is the brush cleaning involved. Well, Rose wanted to paint along tonight, but I don't know where she's at and all that good stuff. I hate she's missing it. Does it really know? Hmm. Well, then that's a good thing, I guess. As long as it helps somebody. Yeah, brush cleaning expert. That's what Bob called it. You're absolutely right, Tracy. That is what he said, and he meant it. All right. Oh, boy. Now it's time to put some clouds in, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to take a little of the blue and a little of the black right on the fan brush. Probably more of the blue this time. kind of moon, what kind of clouds do I want? I think what I'm going to do is just do some uh, just some little simple circle type clouds.
don't think you have to uh, I don't think you have to have a whole lot of clouds up here to be real effective in the sky. Just have a have a few floating around here and there. Just starting to kind of help the night seem long and then and uh be uh Effective basically is all all we're really looking for. We can have some way off over here in the dark area. It just kind of I think down here it'd be best to have some, uh, just like some little, little stringers. I don't think it needs to be real, real fluffy down here. Just. Something I like so. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and clean and dry this fan brush right quick. All right. Rather than contaminate all this white, I'm going to come over here. Pick me up some to bring over here. All right, come up here with just a corner of the brush, get some of this white on it. And I want to come across them and just touch some of the white on in a few places to make it look like the moonlight's hitting it. I think we over here just it probably just glaze across the the top maybe a little bit red right in here. I don't think it hit it much. Alright. It'll probably have this one lit up pretty good. Since it's right here on it. And these probably just get a little, a little glazing. Just to kind of show that they're up here. I feel like that's about all they get. All right. Well, that's one of them. That's one of them hold your breath moments right there. Thank you, Rich. Okay. 
Okay. Now the fun part. All right, we want to come up here, and we just want to barely, I mean barely, turn this white. It's, I mean just barely touch it with little circles. Barely touch it. I mean, I'll be scared of it, you know. Be thinking to yourself, you're probably going to touch it too much. Say, if, I'm, if I touch it too much, I'm going to mess up my painting. That's how much you need to be touching this. Like you're scared to touch it. I mean, just... Let's say you had a, a two or three month old baby. Just a newborn little baby that's sitting there crying and wearing the crap out of you. You want to get him to hush. But you know good and well you can't haul off and just smack him because he's so tiny and fragile. So, you know, you pick him up. You'd be like, oh, it's going to be okay, baby. And you just love on him and rub him and you'd be so soft with him. Well, that's why these clouds need to be treated like a newborn baby. That's irritating you. You won't shut up. You just keeps on screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and then lightly just blend across these. Is all you got to do. Just like so. <laughs> I was wondering if anybody was going to pick up on it or not, Laura. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you guys. I'm telling you. I was like, ain't nobody catching on to what I'm saying here. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Flashbacks, I guess. All right. I'm going to come up here. Fluff them up. Just real light. There again. Think about that little baby. And then just blend across the entire sky. Just like so. That's all you got to do. Now, if you, if you, as you paint this painting, if you uh, get a little further on down the road, <coughs> you're a good listener. <laughs> PTSD. What is that? Painter stress syndrome? If you get a little further into this painting and <coughs> you decide that, you know, you'd like to have a couple more. All right, say for instance, like right up here. All you got to do is just come back and just touch a corner of that same brush, that two-inch brush. Just touch a corner and come back up here and just lightly bring that color in. And there again, I mean, it is just, it is such a gentle touch that I can't, I can't even describe how gentle of a touch this is. I mean, it is so, so gentle. Pre-toddler, post-toddler, post-toddler. That's what it is, Tracy. Post-toddler. And then just, you know, don't don't let it get real bright on you, but, you know, I mean, if you're going to do it, let it be known that you did it. And then maybe, where am I at? I'm on this side. Maybe you can just come up here and kind of, and just tile all this together. That's all you got to do.
like a mother's touch. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to do it like daddy do it. Daddy be done smack the baby. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, now I'm going to say, just for the sake of saying, that that is an effective little sky, and I'm probably... I'm probably going to be okay with that. I'm probably going to leave it like that. I kind of like that. That's about all I'm looking for. You know, just something that that kind of lets you uh, know that it's nighttime, but the moon is still hitting some of the, you know, some of the clouds up here. But the main thing is just let let you know it's a it's a nighttime sky, you know. Basically is all we're doing. And wash and dry the brush again. Thank you, John. All right, Locksmith, tell us a little about today. Like when you first arrived and then found your seat and started unopening all your stuff. I bet you was excited. And did anybody try to use some thinner that smelled? Tell us about it, you know. Tell us a little about it anyway. Still can't get rid of the goose box. What about the paintings, dude? The ones that Bob did. Would them not give you the feelings? All right, I'm gonna grab my knife. Now this is just a little knife. It don't really matter which one you use. And I'm gonna come up here in the black. And I'm gonna pick me up just a little small roll. Not much. He always says that. So, but yeah, y'all's probably is the best one ever this year. <laughs> uh, he said, make sure I knew that. <laughs> I'll tell you something, man. That's a, that's a heck of an artist. I do can paint. What can he paint? A lot of people don't know that about him. You know, he, he goes beyond the Bob Ross experience. I know it locks me. That's that's a. I think that's something that every painter ought to get to experience right there. If you've ever watched Bob Ross, I think every artist needs to be able to see those paintings. All right, 
clean off the knives. Yeah. We'll come up here with a clean, dry two inch brush. You, uh, he did tell y'all that that's the easel Bob painted off of, didn't he? Believe me, I had to, I had to lay hands on that. I had to touch it. <laughs> hey, Danita. Well, stay as long as you feel like it. You go to feeling bad, we understand. Come up here and pull as much of this color out as I can. Because I do want these to be kind of far off. Yeah, I had to touch it. I was like, if Bob touched it, I got to touch it. I even took one of my brushes up there when nobody looking. Nick was in the back, and I beat my brush out on it. Of course, my brush was already clean, but I had to beat the devil out of it. All right, I'm going to grab a little bit more of this white now. And just come up here and kind of touch it on up here. Yeah, I mean, you got to. I mean, you got to. <laughs> I mean, it's, when are you ever going to get to do that again, you know, that experience? It's, it's like, for me, you know, probably once in a lifetime. So. And, and Nick and, and Nader, they understand that. They understand what kind of, what kind of fanatics we are. When it comes, if they don't, they will after they meet you. Because they definitely knew after meeting me. All right. Let's sit here and blend that out now. So Tony. Well, the lady that wanted me to paint this black canvas ain't here. John, do not be eating the buttons. You might get choked. What's going on, Danita? Well, thank you, Spore Rat.
Donato, are you okay? Yeah, I disconnected the battery, Laura. I'm sure you have the flu. Oh, my goodness. Well, Donato, if you don't feel good, just, I mean, we understand. Go get some rest. Don't uh, don't tire yourself out trying to watch me paint no painting. It's not worth it. Well, hey, pray. Welcome from Canada. Well, we'll certainly be praying for you. I'll tell you that. white out flat as I can get it here I'll grab a little roll of it Touch on them. Little, little indications of some snow back here. Not much. This is way off in the distance. Good night, Janita. You take care. We'll be praying for you. Locksman, did you find out when again the class is so spread apart this time? That's crazy. Okay. Well, I can understand that. There's a lot of other things going on right now. You got to get in there and get acclimated to everything. Can't think of everything the first day, especially as overwhelming as it is. Rocky, you be careful out there in this mess. The last thing we need is to hear you had an accident. 
going to save somebody else. Imagine that. Well, pray is just a whole lot of practice, man. That's all it is. Or, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say man. You may not be a man. You could be a female. That was not intended to be a... Uh... Her fun anyway, just a speech. Just a matter of speech. Learn what you can while you're there. Got to say his name three times like Beetlejuice. Well, Tony done went and summons him up. Now I'm going to take my clean, dry two-inch brush, just like you always do on a mountain. I'm coming right up here. And even though we don't have much going on at all, I'm still wanna, I still want to tap it out and pull it into the, into the center in the same direction that everything's coming down. here create us a little little mist back here but while we're creating this mist we'll to try to make it look like a row of trees back here that just kind of covered in snow but way off
just by pulling it straight down with the corner of the brush. That's all we want to do. All right, it didn't really work. I have to tell you what we're doing. We'll just go ahead and just go ahead and create some mist back here. And put in some trees after this. Pick up a little bit more of the black and blue on the corner of the brush. And I just want to come up here and kind of create a little heel back here. Well, thank you, Tommy. Take and pull these trees straight up. Just like so. Then we will clean and dry the brush again. Tony, I have to ask, if you knew you still didn't have it, that means you tried to use it. And that makes me wonder why you would try to use it in this painting. <laughs> Come on, answer that question, please. You had to know you didn't have it. All right, I'm going to take my fan brush, tap in just a little bit of white. And I'm going to come back here and just live straight up on some of these trees back here. Get that little indication of someone being covered in snow. Make it look like little little trunks in between. Yep, that would be uh that would be pretty cool tonight, but I don't know that you can share a live on YouTube. If you can, I don't know how you'd do it.
Alright. Just a little distant trees way back in the back. I'm gonna bring a few little taller ones in here. So that black and blue. Kind of thin things down a little. Put them in that mist. Blend the bottom out. Not like so. Grab a little round brush now. Okay. Come up here and tap into it. And we'll come up here and just kind of start tapping us on some little indication of trees going across here. Over all of them up back there, but I guess if you do, you do. Not a lot you can do about it now.
Alright. Clean the dry. The round brush. Come back up here in our white now. I'm gonna grab some of the white and that that blue that we use for shadow. Thank you, Grace Gale. Appreciate it, man. I'll come up here and just start barely touching on some highlights. Just be sure to leave yourself some dark colors in here too. Because don't forget, this is a night scene. So <clears throat> it's real easy to forget that. And then when you get down in here, start on all these little bushes. The only thing you got to be a separator is if you leave dark colors. Well, thank you very much. I won't even attempt to say the name. because I do not understand the uh, Oriental Kanji. But I thank you for the kind words. Probably have to leave a little more dark in these paintings like this than you do uh, normal paintings because the uh, I mean it's just, it's really that important that that you have that separator. And like I said, that's really all you got to use as your separator now is just the dark. Because there is no color change like normal. So. This tree back here. Yes, you can, Tracy. In fact, it's probably best if you do. All right, I'm going to take a one-inch brush now. Come up here and load it up with just clean white. And I'll come over here under my moon. And this should be about the brightest spot. So... I want to come right in here and I just want to start going side to side just like so. And I'm going to bring this color out. 
just like that. And then all in here, I want to come in here under these bushes and grab some of that color and pull it out over to the little pad thing we just made. Same thing on this side. And just kind of blend all this together through here. Kind of get a lay of the land. And then just a tad bit more white, kind of on the kind of on the edge of the brush. I'm gonna come out up here with this white and just kind of touch it on back here and just like it, just kind of like let it disappear back into there. Kind of like there's a path that goes way back, maybe towards the mountain. About like so. And just pull it out right into the into the lay of the land. Then you can take just a tad bit of the white and just tap it right on your on your one inch brush that you was just using and come back up here and just you know along the bottom of some of these just tap where the where the bushes kind of meet the snow and just put you like a little just a little dab there and it'll kind of set the Kind of set them bushes right down into it. And you can do the same along here. Just come up here and kind of tap on a little color. And then come back on them. Just like that. And then just kind of kind of blend everything together. Just keep in mind how you got your land going. Soften this little this little area in here. Just kind of soften it down real easy, like. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate that. All right, now if you want it to look like this, the moon's hitting some of your trail and you want it to be brighter in there, just take your little white in a couple spots and just come back and just kind of put your little white on and then come back and just, just pull it out. And then it'll, it'll kind of just make it look like the like the moon lights it in right there. Put just a little glow in the in the snow. Thank you, Rich. And if you want to even shine on out here, you can. You can kind of put you on some white and just fan out the edges. And just like that, you got a little bit of glow in a couple places. Just make sure they blend in. You don't want them to, you know, just sit there and stick out like a sore thumb. That look kind of that look kind of crazy.
Now, once you uh, once you get to the point to where you where you can in the painting, which with this, I'm gonna put a little cabin right here next. But once you get to the point to where you where you can, and you want to sit there and look at it, you know, with the moon coming down, hitting top of that mountain like it is. If it makes it in here, you can come back and I'll show you on a couple of these little bushes along the path. We can kind of lighten them up a little. But when you're doing that, you got to be really, really careful. Because the first couple you do, it's going to start looking good. <laughs> and uh, it's just going to make you feel good. And you think, oh, Lord, if it looks that good there, I'm going to put some over here. And the next thing you know, you've lit the whole valley up. And it's, the illusion will go away then. So, but like I said, the first thing we got to do, or the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to add this little cabin in here because I just think that'd be a real neat place to have a little cabin. And if you, uh, you know, if you really wanted to in your mind, if you got a really real good imagination, you could say this is just a crossroads. You know, like dude lives right here on County Road 2. And this is just that road that goes by his house. If you wanted to. Okay, what's the deal with the lights? Y'all gonna have to explain this. You can only like YouTube videos once, right? Seventeen and Tony gets your ducks back. Seventeen and Tony gets your ducks. Wait a minute. Tony said seventeen. Tracy said and Tony gets your ducks back. Okay, we have 14 now. If we get 17, she gets her ducks back. <laughs> Wait, that's a 100. Danger. Oh, Danker said 100 on a video. And the ducks are back. All right, well, how are you going to get 100 if you don't have 100 people in here? Because I think you can only like a YouTube video once. I do believe that's right. One of my videos. Oh, okay. Well, I'm telling y'all now about the only way you can help me on YouTube is by going watching the video and comment. Like it and comment. And regardless of what you comment, I'm going to say thank you. And if you choose to comment back to that, well, then that just adds another comment. So keep that in mind.
Well, look who it is. It's Moni. Hey, Moni. All right, brother, get you some rest. Tomorrow's a big day. I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. All right. Come up here. Get me some of this Van Dyke Brown. Huh? Well, did everybody see the painting he done today in class? Well, I'm going to tell you something. He did a phenomenal job on it. Let me pull it up for you right quick. That's one of the things I like about YouTube is you can pull pictures up on your phone and show them to people. And, uh, all right, where is he at? Right here. Y'all check that out. If I can get it into the word will actually focus whoop here I am showing his painting all over the world I thought he's gone now he busting me he did a fabulous job on that painting I'm here to tell you It is on TikTok, sure is.
Okay. Now. All right, let's take us some uh, dark sienna and white and a little bit of this blue. Don't want much blue in it. Maybe just enough to gray it down. like so. bit on this other side over here and we'll put a little light Just a little. <clears throat> All right, now let's take a little bit of the dark cinema. Just a little bit of the blue and white this time. We get just a little bit of color that's a little bit darker than what we already got up here, but a little bit lighter than the Van Dyke. Just kind of a little. Form a bond right there. Let them get to know each other. Just a little bit more snow up here. Come down this side. Back here.
subscribe. I'm going to come up here and do us a little cabinectomy. Grab us another one inch brush. Let's wait before we do that. Let's do this. Let's take some of this a little bit of just black. Come right up here. Put us in a little door. Where our people can get in and out. And then take and put us a little outline around the door. Like so. I'll take some of this like Brown. Okay. Now let's take just a tiny bit of yellow on that little edge. We'll just come right here. Give us a little indication. Of some windows back there. Not digging that. So let's take that back off. Go back up here and fix it with our green color. Looks like the whole front just blew out of the cabin like somebody shot a mortar at it. <laughs> All right, so let's fix this before we go any further. Come back up here and fix the front. I don't think so, Adam. Because if uh, if I try to paint one, there's no telling what it would look like. But I can bet you it wouldn't look like a snowmobile.
I am so gonna act like I did not see her put a wolf in this room. With a question mark behind it. I'm gonna really act like I didn't see that. After she screamed for ducks for a freaking year. And I finally did one. Now I want to put up a wolf. I don't think so. I didn't see her comment. Not fitting this bed. That way, maybe she'll think I didn't see the wall. boards in, little indications of some boards here and there in the little cabin. Live street. Hey, Riley. Thank you for liking it. All right. I've got 
come back up here now and fix this because I need that to look like it goes back off into the woods back here. Says she likes to mow. So she painted many colors. <laughs> That's good. This little chimney setting up there. Thank you, Amy. All right, I'm gonna give us a little white. Come out here and just kind of rub on a little bit.
Thank you, Laura. Thank you, John.
He probably would, Adam, knowing him. That guy has bought some paintings. I think he's up to 15 or 16. Yeah, no doubt. What's M M? You ain't never had no M and M. This little chocolate candy melts in your mouth, not in your hand. I really like the simplicity of this paint. It's it says so much without saying a lot. Well, whoever's in the cabin ain't cold. They got them a nice little fire going. Because wouldn't you know it, the night that I get to do a black canvas that Rose asked for, she ain't here. And the night that I get to do the the smoke that Beaches and that other woman's always asking for, they ain't here. So I think what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to stop taking requests. When people say, would you paint one with such a oh, nope. I'm going to paint with a paint, and that's all I'm going to paint. All right, let me turn that around there where you guys can see her. Get it straight with the camera It is peace. It's 
like a peaceful night. How people are in the inside the cabin with a little fire built and a little candle burning. Full moon. Have a have a full moon with a it's shining down on the mountain just a tag. Just enough to light it up. With the little road that runs by the house, goes way on back in the woods back in there. Where it goes, we don't have a clue. Thank you, Robert. Oh, ain't the key. It's mine. Everything she sees is mine. You won one last night, uh, from from a uh, a girl, uh, Eve, number eighteen. Kind of looks like the snow is piled up on the back back here. No. I was going to fix it. Then I was like, no, it kind of looks like the, the snow's built up there. Which all you had to do is make the cabin a little longer. But I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to leave it be. What do y'all think? Robert. Hey, Paul. Thank you, man. Good food night to have a can of chili in it. Yeah, no doubt. Well, thank you, Tony. I have saw several times in fact Tracy. Uh, I was in a room when you wanted. live and nobody seen me at all. So I just sat in there and watched. Didn't say nothing to nobody. Didn't speak to nobody. I just sat there and watched. Oh, you did, Laura? Well, I'm glad you didn't bust me out. Yeah, I was in there. I was in the live. I went in uh, coin and fizzes for about 20 to 25 minutes and nobody in there noticed me. I 
smoking there too? Because TikTok got a setting that you can put on that says incognito. I'm going to tell you something with that sky looking like it does. That mine right there is almost got that 3D look to it, like it's sitting out from the sky. Well, Richard, I don't know the proper uh, TikTok etiquette when you enter a room. You know, most of the time when I enter one, I say, uh, hello, everybody. And that covers everybody that's in the room. But then each individual starts saying hello back to me. And then, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm supposed to say it again or not. <laughs> you know. So I, I don't know. It does kind of look like snow clouds on the way down. A bear face. Well, that's because I painted a bear. Well, you still want it. How many uh how many how many gifts you gotta thank you, Rich? How many gifts you gotta give to uh to win a painting like that? I mean not how many you have to give, how many does she does she require? Cause I guess you could give a thousand if you wanted to. And again, her new favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. How many gifts does she have to get before she'll give a paint away? All right, Rich, have a good one, brother. Twenty-five and forty-five, depending on the paint. Of the hundred coin deals. All right. Well, how many was it last night? Twenty-five. No, last night was two hundred coin deals. Cause she wanted them. Uh, them uh, hanging lights. They one ninety nine. That's what I mean, Amy. That's what I'm asking. You know, what was last night's goal? Laura well, already answered it. <clears throat> well, that's that's pretty cheap then. Yeah, I heard her say $20 shipping. But you ain't actually what? You wouldn't be paying much more than 25 bucks for the painting at 25 hanging lights. That's good. It's good that people are starting to get their stuff away. I 
a lot of people need to realize it's about you guys. It's about the spectators. Because without y'all, it wouldn't be no uh, would be no crowd there giving gifts or liking posts or watching videos or commenting. Would be nothing there but a in her case, the woman painting. And in my case, would be nothing but me sitting here painting. Well, no, it's not giving it away, but it's making it affordable. I mean, 199 uh, coins comes out to about 99 diamonds, and a diamond ain't much. It's like a, a fraction of a penny. Yeah, I thought about doing one tomorrow night. Laura on TikTok. I guess I need to go in and end this live because it's a uh, it's just getting longer and longer and longer the longer I sit here and talk. I need to uh, I need to get with Danker and get him to bust some little shorts up out of it. Because my YouTube channel is dead. If something don't hurt happen, I don't know. I may not be able to keep it going. Because it ain't doing nothing. Well, that sounds fun, Mark. All right, guys. I thank y'all for joining me over here again. And thank you, Tracy. Angel painting. I did that the other night. Coffee went down the wrong hole. Me, I'm stuff. <coughs> Death by coffee. What a way to go. All right, good night, guys. Love y'all. God loves you more. And I'll be back tomorrow night on the Tiki Top, 7 p.m. Central. If y'all want to go, uh, go to YouTube since you're already there, and just comment the crap out on the videos over there. Just comment like crazy. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>